Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. The one thing that you don't want is to wake up and find a creamy, slimy millipede in your bed. Look at the size of this thing. I guess now you're grateful that the only things you see crawling around are roaches. Let's get into the world of giant dragonflies and huge sea worms. These are the world's most dangerous, horrifying insects. Relax, all of them are long gone. Guess what? Some of these giant insects have super large wings of 30 inches or 70 centimeters in size. And some of these insects in their day were able to take out animals that were almost the size of humans. Luckily, even with their predatory dominance, they couldn't escape extinction. Number 10. Maganeuropsis This is one of the largest insects to ever roam planet Earth, supposedly 300 million years ago. The insect looks like a dragonfly. True or false? On close inspection, this insect is closely related to today's griffon fly. Its scientific name is Maganeuropsis. This beastly insect took to the skies in early days with such confidence. A griffon fly or even a dragonfly doesn't sound that scary if it's what we're basing our facts on. But this prehistoric insect had a very large body. It was roughly 47 centimeters or 18.5 inches. It also had a 75 centimeter or 29.5 inch wingspan. This meant that the bug was larger than the average toddler. I don't think you want to let your kid play in the park with this bug hanging around in the bushes. The bug is a fierce predator thanks to its huge pair of powerful mandibles, which it used to tackle large prey. The griffon fly can grow nowhere near the size of this huge bug because of the limited oxygen in today's air. Fun fact. Insects absorb oxygen through spiracles which are located on their bodies, sending oxygen right to the tissues, allowing them to grow to massive sizes. Number 9. Mongol Larachne Say hello to this giant spider. Thankfully, this bug no longer lives. Its fossils are, however, still around, and this one was bigger than any spider that had ever lived. Interestingly, the female is bigger than the male. When it comes to body size, they are 24.6 mm or 2.5 cm, but the front legs are 56.5 mm or 5.6 cm long. Scientists are still trying to understand the spider and think that it would not just wait for prey to come and get tangled in its web, instead it was a bit of a pro spider, and it would spin a net like a web and throw the entire thing over its prey. Proactive will give it that. This Jurassic specimen had the capability of capturing unsuspecting prey, and we're pretty thankful they didn't stick around to get even bigger. Who knows? They could have been a menace to humans. Number 8. Giant Horntail Wood Wasp if you've ever been stung by a bee or a wasp, you know it's not just annoying, it's quite painful. Just imagine if the regular wasp grew to 10 centimeters long. This was, however, the norm in prehistoric times. The British Columbian researchers found the fossil of a giant horntail wood wasp. The specimen was believed to be 553 million years old and 7 centimeters or 2.75 inches in length. This ancient wasp was only slightly larger than some of its modern relatives. Scientists believe that the bigger specimens are still out there, so other than being deadly stingers, these wasps actually killed trees and would not be very welcome in today's protected forest areas. These wasps built tunnels through wood in order to grow fungus that they would eat. The fungus was poisonous and would compromise the tree's immune system, causing it to eventually die. Good thing they couldn't do the same things to humans and would never get the chance to try since they no longer exist. Number 7. Giant Squid Shrimp Hybrid Imagine this giant squid shrimp hybrid is not even the weirdest looking creature on our list, yet it's definitely one of the most dangerous. It goes by the name Anomacaris. Such a pretty name though. This creature is said to have been around half a billion years ago and considered a top predator of its time. It was up to 37 inches long. This sea creature chased down prey with large flaps on the side. It would capture and grab the prey with its large spiky arms and that its huge mouth would do the rest of the work. Scientists say that its very intricate hunting skills are accredited to its large eyes. Its eyesight is better than most modern insects. And there's evidence of its hunting abilities among trilobite fossils. Additionally, hardshell creatures sometimes had bites taken out of them that would match those of the shrimp-like predator. Its fearsome hunting skills couldn't keep it from going extinct, though, at a time when it's believed that 90% of life on Earth was wiped out. This sea monster won't be joining us for a swim, either. Number 6. Sea Scorpion The only thing worse than a land scorpion is a sea scorpion, especially if it's over 8 feet or 2.5 meters long. 
This monstrous scorpion could have easily taken on a human in battle, or better yet, a horse. Its claws were 46 centimetres or 18 inches in length, and it would crush unsuspecting prey in the blink of an eye. Believed to be 400 million years old, this scorpion would lie in wait in rivers and lakes and lurch forward at an unlucky creature that happened to wander. It was a bit of a glutton and would chew its food to shreds and then scavenge for any remaining pieces. Talk about being a messy eater. Unlike most insects that are large because of the increased oxygen, sea scorpions are actually long because of the oxygen boost they got from finding and eating protected creatures like an armored fish. When much larger vertebrates started arriving in its territory, the sea scorpion was officially kicked out, and now it's long gone. Number 5. Manipulator modificaputus 97 million years ago, it's believed, one of the world's most hated creatures plowed through the forest at night, and guess what? It was a cockroach. It was much more dangerous and much more disliked than relatives who roam about our kitchens. This one centimetre long predatory cockroach made up for its small size by having elongated legs and a strong mouth that would crush nocturnal arthropods. It grasped on its prey with its long front legs that were covered in strong spines. This insect's scientific name is Manipulator modificaputus. No way it would be happy scavenging for breadcrumbs like today's cockroaches. With its extremely long legs, it was a hunter. Given its excellent eyesight, it would spot prey from far away. Its freely moving head and long neck suggest that these cockroaches were pursuit predators. They wouldn't wait for prey to come their way, but chase them down relentlessly. Other prehistoric cockroaches have been discovered, bigger than the manipulator modificaputis, and can be up to 3.5 inches or 8.9 centimeters long. But the manipulator proves that size doesn't really matter. Its hunting skills made it stand out. Number 4. Arthropleura Today's millipedes average from 2 to 200 millimetres, or 0.08 to 11 inches long. 300 million years ago, it's believed that massive millipedes lived around North America, and the largest was the Arthropleura. This leggy creature was 1.5 feet, or 0.46 metres wide, and could grow up to 7 feet, or 2.1 metres long. That's the length of a very tall basketball player. With its strong, thin body armor, scientists believe that it had no known predators. It's likely that this insect ate organic materials that it collected on wet forest floors. It might also have been carnivorous when it had a chance. Scientists suggest that the millipede ate plants, insects, as well as smaller vertebrates, brave enough to go near the massive silky insect. Like the giant dragonfly, the millipede was able to grow so big because of plentiful oxygen and moist conditions. When the earth became dry with less oxygen, the millipede eventually became extinct leaving room for its much smaller, multi-legged cousins. Number 3. Assassin Fly Any creature with the word assassin in its name is probably one not to be messed around with. Even though this assassin is a fly, it doesn't mean that it's any less dangerous. The assassin fly is from the Diptera species, which is the same family as mosquitoes. They were found preserved in Burma, and these extinct flies were around 25 mm in length. Their ambitious feeding allowed them to consume insects much larger than themselves. Assassin flies don't just suck blood, they do some good damage. They're even brave enough to eat stinging bees and wasps. They have protective bristles on their faces and bodies to shield them from strong prey. Assassin flies chase and attack their prey by grabbing the insects with their legs and biting them to inject the venomous saliva. Their venom wouldn't immediately take you out like it did the other insects. It is, however, reassuring to know that this venomous fly isn't swimming around our backyard since, according to scientists, they became extinct 100 million years ago. Number 2. Titan Ants Supposedly, 15 million years ago, there were live ants the size of hummingbirds in North America. Their size was about 2 inches or 5 centimeters long. These ants were called Titan Ants. The full name is Titano Murmur, and they had stingers as well as large mandibles, which made them capable of opening their mouths 180 degrees. Normal everyday ants can also do this, but they're not quite so large. The titan's jaws would snap close on their prey, crushing them and making them perfect for an afternoon snack. Since ants are coordinated and work together, they would take out a large number of insects in a short period of time. Titan ants also preferred warm weather, and that's precisely why they weren't able to survive, as the Earth's new temperature was much lower. This is not an ant you want to find in your picnic basket. Number 1. The Giant Worm We've saved the best for last. This prehistoric insect is believed to be 505 million years old. This giant worm roamed the Earth without a single care. Its scientifically named Hallucigenia sparsa, 
and this very strange worm is related to the velvet worm. It had a very weird structure. When scientists first saw its fossils, they thought it was upside down. The spine and the worm's back were thought to be the legs, and its legs were thought to be tentacles. This was one confusing discovery. The worm had seven or eight pairs of legs ending in claws and rows of rigid spines along its back, which were between 0.2 and 1.4 inches, or 5 and 35 millimetres. They lived on ocean floors. A lot is not understood about the worms, like what they ate and why they became extinct. This discovery, though, made scientists rethink the entire tree of life as they tried to figure out what the creature could have evolved into. Which giant insect do you think is more terrifying? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.